Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to Academic Coordinates. In this video, we're tackling mathematics. It's actually a follow up um, example from the previous video that we have done on quadratic functions, you know. And also, we have limited ourselves on vertical shift and the vertical stretch of, you know, the parabolic graph. You know what I'm saying? So, in this video, we're doing an example, you know what I'm saying, of a parabola um, 2y minus x squared plus 4 is equals to 0. You know what I'm saying? You know, we are used to, you might be used to something like this, ax squared plus, I mean, y is equals to ax squared plus c, you know, and suddenly you see something like this, maybe in a, a test or an exam or whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? Then it starts to fear or it starts to, I don't know, give up, you know, but rather not. Let us do this thing together. You know, just grab your pen and paper and get closer. Let's do this thing together. First of all, let us write this, guys, in the standard form that we are used to. So it's going to be 2y is equals to x squared, right, um, minus 4. You see? Okay, that's the first step in writing it in the standard form. And then we are going to um, divide by 2 or we're going to multiply by a half, right? So we're going to get y is equals to 1 over 2x squared. So minus 4 divided by 2, so it's going to be minus 2. So there is our graph. And we're able to identify that our a is a half and our c is minus 2. Okay, firstly, we're going to determine the intercepts of this graph. The intercept intercept where the graph will cut or touch either the x or the y or the y axis so we're going to determine the y intercept of the graph right so we're going to let x equals to zero you know uh, we're finding the y intercept where the graph um, cuts the y axis um, so this line, the y-axis equation is x is equal to 0. This equation is y is equal to 0. So that's why we say we're going to let x equals to 0 and we're going to let y equals to 0 here, right? So the y-intercept, we're going to substitute x here. We're going to substitute x is equal to 0. So y is equal to 1 over 2, 0 squared minus 2. This is equals to minus 2, guys, you know? And... We, we could be able to see this from the from our equation you know what i'm saying from this equation you could be able to spot that this will be the y intercept but be careful you know when um i mean here we restricted ourselves to only vertical shift you know but when the um maybe horizontal shifts of the graph um that might not necessarily be necessarily be the case you know so here the y intercept is zero and negative two the graph will pass through this point and then the x intercept intercept so we're gonna let y equals to zero you know so where the graph will touch or cut the x axis you see so it's gonna be zero equals to one over two x squared minus two um, then we can multiply it by two everywhere multiplied by two so it's gonna be um x squared zero equals to x squared minus four right so we have got something like this now and you know you guys might recall that this is the difference of two squares of two squares right because it's x squared minus two squared you know so yeah okay so um x squared minus 4 is equals to 0. So we're going to factorize here. x, x, um, minus 2 plus 2 equals to 0. So now we find the x intercept, you know. But we don't leave it like this. x will equals to um, 2. Or x will equals to minus 2. And how we solve this is like x minus 2 equals to 0 or x um, plus 2 equals to 0 right 
then after we take to the other side take negative to the other side if we take negative to the other side we're gonna get this if we take to the other side we're gonna get this so this is how we like solve these things guys you know okay cool so the x intercept will be 2 and 0 and also um negative 2 and 0 that's how we normally write end you know in maths but okay don't worry about it you can just write an end okay so you find the intercept secondly we're gonna find the axis of symmetry of symmetry metry so as we have stated that we limited ourselves on the vertical shift so the parabolic graph um is shifted only vertically so um, the axis of symmetry is sort of the line that divides the graph into two. So it's going to be x is divides the graph into half. So it's going to be x equals to zero. Can you see? Okay. Thirdly, the turning point. The turning point. Um, the turning point here. The turning point. Okay. Turning point. Um, obviously, at the axis of symmetry let's say you've got a graph like this this is the value we're looking for where the graph turns right um so we, the x of symmetry is going to be involved here it's going to be zero and f of zero right um and then after we're going to find what is f of zero we have found okay no not actually f but the function when x equals to zero i'm used to f of x and g of x and everything okay we're able to find the function when x equals to zero when we are finding the y intercept but it's not always the case um so um there is it this is going to be the turning point zero and negative two so it's going to be zero and negative two that is the turning point um so it was zero for because of the axis of symmetry and then after we we, we inserted zero in our function which is this one and then after we're able to find that y is equal to negative two so that is where our graph will turn so i think now if we're not told maybe in an exam to or a test to write to draw you know um um to draw or to 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 include extra points then i think we are good to go in sketching our graph x y zero here okay Firstly, the y-intercept is here. Say so this is negative 2. That's the y-intercept. The x-intercept is here at 2 and here at negative 2. You know what I'm saying? So we're just going to combine everything and sketch our graph. So there is it. Um, okay. This is our graph for y is equals to 1 over 2x squared minus 2. All right. Looking at this equation, first of all, all right, guys, this is our function, but looking at it, you know what I'm saying? What has happened to this function? Um, y is equal to x squared, 0x, y, from here to here. The, the graph, this graph is, is wider than this one this one is narrower this one is wider and also it was shifted one two units downwards hence now the graph is here you know what i'm saying okay let's let's find the domain of the graph you know these are like the type of questions that maybe they might ask you guys or you know what i'm saying the domain of the graph where the graph exists horizontally you know, so if, as you can see, this is an arrow, so the graph increases, 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 increases. So as far as X is concerned, this graph exists everywhere. So X is an element of real numbers, or you can say X is an element, um, it's a member from negative infinity up until infinity. So in other words, this graph exists everywhere, you know what I'm saying, um, horizontally, you know, or from left to right. And then the range, the range of the graph, um the range where the graph exists you know like like vertically from up up to down or down to up you know what i'm saying i mean down to up right for as far as this one is concerned okay cool looking at this now um from this point up until infinity this graph exists 
But what about y is equal to negative 3? This graph is not there. You know what I'm saying? So basically, y is an element from, from where does this thing exist? From negative 2, you know? Okay, but I need to put square brackets there. y from negative 2 until infinity, right? Negative 2 is included in my... Um, in my um, domain because of the graph at negative 2 exists. Do you understand? Okay. Then number 6, the minimum value or the maximum value. Um, so obviously here, um, the, our graph will have a minimum value and that will be the turning point. So the turning point, which is our minimum, minimum value um, is 0 and negative 2. That's our minimum value. And then lastly, where is the, the values of x? The values of x where the graph increases or decreases. Right? Okay, let's start with the decreasing part. Decreases. Okay, looking at this graph, guys, from from I can say negative infinity. It goes, it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes, just until um um I'm here, right? Just until zero, as far as x is concerned. You know what I'm saying? This graph is decreasing. It's decreasing. It's decreasing until there, right? So it's decreasing from x, which is an element from negative infinity, um, from negative infinity until zero. Zero is not included. This thing can be written also as x less than zero the graph is decreasing so when x is less than zero this graph is coming like it's decreasing you see right and where it increases right um when x is greater than sorry when x is an element of um from here up until infinity the graph increases you know what i'm saying so from zero to positive infinity the graph increases or um, from x is greater than zero that's where the graph increases so i trust you guys enjoyed the video and um please let me know if there is anything that you don't understand like literally anything you know and i'll be happy to assist you guys you can either write on the comments or you can email me or you can call whichever way will assist you to um grasp your answers you know what i'm saying um do stay cool and enjoy the rest of your day